So let's talk a little bit about channel sounding. Uh, Henry talked about, or, and, and others talked about the high accuracy distance measurement. Uh, you'll also hear channel sounding. Um, we tend to use those terms interchangeably. I'm going to use channel sounding, but in general, when you hear Haddam, when you hear channel sounding, they're talking about the same thing. The big thing about channel sounding is ranging. So how do we find the distance between two objects, uh, between a, a phone and a car, between two points in space? Um, it, it's all channel sounding, and the channel sounding measurement has all the information that is needed to calculate that distance. There's actually a number of terminology involved with channel sounding. You're going to hear round trip timing. You're going to hear phase based ranging. And so when it comes to round trip timing, think packets. When you hear phase based ranging, think tones. And so uh, the couple other things I want to bring up is that there is a draft specification of the channel sounding spec. It is available on the, uh, on the Bluetooth SIG website, and that's so the CCC, or I'm sorry, the Car Connectivity Consortium, or the CCC, can actually start talking about using that specification for their work, and also, and possibly more importantly, universities and attack researchers are, uh, um, uh, they want to take a look at what that spec has to say and start, uh, and, and start doing some tests for security, uh, for security. And I'm going to continue to emphasize security throughout this talk, and Kyle certainly will too. Um, as we're bringing this technology to digital key, uh, it's, it's relatively new, and so people want to know, uh, will it stand up to some of the attacks that, uh, that key fobs have, uh, have faced? And I think the, the, the full answer is going to be yes, but we still need some time to do that.